The lie detection system being trialled in Berry measures changes in the sound of a caller's voice, sometimes caused by increased stress, indicating they might be lying. If it thinks they are lying, they'll be flagged as high risk and will have to produce more documents to back up their claim. Anyone considered lower risk by the system will have to produce fewer documents. Unfortunately, we can't show you exactly how the system works because the government department in Westminster that's running this trial didn't want us to go inside and film. But what do people here in Bury think of having a lie detector on their benefits helpline? Anything that uh, can uh, catch benefit cheats is definitely a good idea. Well, something needs to be done. I'm not sure about a lie detector, but certainly they need to do something to catch these people out. Good idea. Too many of them. If you were phoning up the helpline, would you mind that you were being put through a lie detector test? Nope. No, not in the slightest, no. Especially when I've got nothing to hide. And anybody that was honest would do the same thing. But why is it being trialled in Bury, and how reliable is the system? The Department of Work and Pensions recognise that Bury is a, a very good benefit uh, processing council. It's not going to cost Bury Council anything. We're a pilot authority, so it'll be met by the government centrally. So I think that's uh, a real benefit to us. What we will do, though, is obviously continue with the, the background work we do on fraud detection, uh, where we rely on references from our helpline and our, our anti-fraud line and the work that our fraud team does. So that's a sort of second check, which will go on in the background anyway. But we think the vast majority of cases aren't high risk, and we can then improve our customer service, which is what's really important to us. Nationally, benefit fraud cost taxpayers £0.8 billion in 2006 to 2007. Schemes like this aim to reduce that figure. The lie detector technology is being trialled here in Bury for a year and the pilot's being funded by the Department for Work and Pensions. If it works well, other councils in Greater Manchester could soon be using the system to try and cut benefit fraud right across the region. Ben Bland, Channel M News.